Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is December 20th, and I wanted to hop on and share with you the finishing of my moving stitch blanket. Now, all the crochet is done. <laughs> so, uh, I shared the Z square in the last No Catchy Name episode, um, but I haven't shared it in uh, like a moving stitch video, so I'm going to do that now. So, my Z movie was Zootopia, which is a Disney movie, and this is the square I made for it. <laughs> I'll have the square pattern and this paw print pattern linked below. I can't remember off the top of my head who made this paw print. It's a YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, so I made the paw print because in the movie, the uh, fox and his little, it's like a mouse type thing. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, they're making little popsicles and to sell. And they're in the shape of paw print. So I made that. Just out of scrap yards. Uh, I'm not sure what they all are. <laughs> but that was my Z square, which was my last square. Actually, I had to make four more squares. <laughs> I had to make uh, filler squares because there's 26 uh, squares. I needed enough to, you know, make it, uh, you know, blanket sauce. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But, yeah, so I wanted to share the whole blanket with you guys today. And I'll take a picture also and pop it up of the whole thing so you can see it, you know, better than just be holding it up. <laughs> but here it is. There's the first row. Second row. <laughs> Third row. Fourth row. Fifth row. And then the sixth row. So those are the four squares I made extra. And then I went back and stitched on. Really uh, not that good. <laughs> Movie and stitch. And over here, I put 2021. <laughs> and this was just blank. I haven't figured out what to put there yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So that's my moving stitch square, or blanket. So, like I said, I'll pop up a picture uh, so you guys can see the whole entire thing. Now, as for... Uh, connecting the squares, I didn't follow anyone's tutorial how to do it, I just kind of did my own thing. <laughs> and what I did was, um, I first connected them this way. And how I did that is I just, I started in one of the corners of my square and I single crocheted. And then when I got to the corner, I put, picked up the other square and put it there and I single crocheted them, you know, I kept going across and single crocheting them all together all the way to the end and then I went down and went back the other way all the way around so they were connected uh, in a whole line but the inside parts of here was still open so uh, I did that with all the panels first <laughs> and then I connected all the panels together by doing another row of single crochet through there so there's two rows of single crochet on the outside parts and then when I went back to connect all the flappy open parts from the inside of the squares, I decided to just slip stitch them. So I held them like this, one, you know, facing each direction. And I just slip stitched them all the way down the whole length of the blanket. So first I attached them through the width this way. And then I went back into all these middle parts and I slip stitched them together the length. That's all I did didn't take long at all um I actually finished if I had timed it it would probably be like maybe an hour I worked on it a little bit one day and then I finished it up the next morning uh and then I stopped there because I do plan on um lining the back of my blanket with some fleece or flannel I'm hoping to find like a movie themed one at Joann's they have like a huge selection of stuff like that so I'm sure I could find something that goes with like movies um so when I get around to buying that fabric I'm going to record for you guys how I cut it and how I attach it to my blankets and then I will single crochet them together because you make holes in the flannel or fleece whatever and uh, then you, you hold the flannel with the uh, your crochet blanket and you just go into the holes like it like there's stitches and I then I will single crochet all the way around it and then I can choose then if I want to add a crochet border or if I just want to leave it. I'll probably just leave this because this blanket's already so busy. <laughs> it doesn't really need a border. But, um, you know, I'll make up my mind when I get there. But that will be a video and it'll probably be in January sometime. 
because I gotta go to Joanne's and buy it. And I don't know if I'm gonna be going to Joanne's. Probably not this week, because it's Christmas week. Maybe, maybe next week, I don't know. I have to just wait and see. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I love this blanket. It's, it's a pretty good size. I'll measure it. I haven't measured it yet, but I'll measure it. <laughs> and I'll pop up the size. Um, but it's a pretty good couch blanket, which is what I wanted it for. To use, you know, when we're sitting watching movies. Me or Jesse can use it, uh, you know, and stay snuggled while we're uh, watching movies. Because it's my movie blanket. I do remember what all the movies are. I just want, some of them, I forgot their names. This is Hello Dolly. This is Mary Poppins. This is... The Absent Minded Professor, The Little Mermaid, A Knot's Tale, Peter Pan, Jumanji, The Big Green. This is the one I can't remember what it's called. It, it's a Jodie Foster movie, and it was about Blooms. That's why there's four. There's four Blooms, but I can't remember what the movie's called. I have to look it up. This was from another Jodie Foster movie. This is Freaky Friday because there's a boomerang, boomerang scene in it. That's real funny. This is Ever After. This was One Special Night. This is Nanny McPhee, Ratatouille, Quince, Dumbo, <laughs> uh, The Sandlot, Vegas Vacation, Inside Out, The Three Stooges, <laughs> Gus, <laughs> uh, Yes Man, Up, X-Men, Wreck-It Ralph, Zootopia. See, I remember all the movies. <laughs> I just can't remember the name of this one. I'm trying to remember. Uh, it was on Netflix. I know what the movie is. I just cannot remember the title of it. But I think that's pretty good. I remember them all now. <laughs> Ask me again next year and I will be like, what? <laughs> I'll, I'll probably make a list to uh, save. But uh, it's just fun. But yeah, so if, you, if you're interested in any of these applique patterns... They're linked in all my Moving Stitch videos, the ones that I use. Some of these I made myself. Like, I, I made this myself. I made the door by myself. I made the mouse by myself. <laughs> uh, but this was a pattern. It was a goat. Because in the movie, they have a goat. So, um, the donut was a pattern. The balloons I made myself. Like, if they look like fish, you turn it that way. <laughs> the camera I made myself. This was a pattern. But all those will be linked, um... In those videos and I have a playlist of all those videos so that is my blanket I'm really happy with it I think it turned out good I was a little worried there for a while I wasn't gonna be able to finish it in time but I like you know I like tightened up my bootstraps and I got it done in the last few weeks and I'm glad so now all I, all I have to do is line it which isn't hard at all I'll show that in the video it can be a little time-consuming but it's not difficult it's pretty easy um, the only tools you'll need to do it the way I do it is a rotary cutter the like handle and then a special blade called a skip blade and then a mat for cutting so that you don't cut your table or your uh, floor or whatever you cut it out at but the rest of it's crochet you could also sew it on if you're a sewer uh, I just haven't wanted to do that I'm kind of scared I'll mess it up but um, yes yeah, so I'll be lining this one I also will be lining my Christmas blanket when I get it done so there'll be videos on how to do that <laughs> and uh, you don't necessarily need the rotary cutter you could poke holes like if you have a um, little steel hook because they're real pokey <laughs> or like a, what are those things called? Those little dowel cutters, I forget what they're called. <laughs> like when you poke holes in leather and stuff. Uh, something like that, you could just poke your own holes. You don't have to have a rotary blade necessarily. It'll just take more time. But yeah, so I'm excited for my blanket. And uh, I'm proud of myself for finishing. <laughs> I was so uh, nervous that I wouldn't finish because, uh, you know, when you, when you start stuff like this, you're like, oh, yeah, one square every two weeks. That's easy. And then life happens, and you're like, ah, I'm behind. <laughs> but I caught up, and I finished. And Terry finished hers. I'm not sure. I've seen some other people were getting really close. I've seen some people posting their why videos and stuff lately. Some people fell behind, but that's okay, because there's not, like, a deadline. <laughs> you finish it whenever you want to, or never at all, you know. But I'm excited. So now, once it gets lined, it'll be completely done, and I can just leave it on the couch. And it'll be a nice little couch blanket. Um, for watching movies but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed following me along all year making these squares and uh, watching all these movies a lot of them were movies I've seen before I originally wanted to watch movies I hadn't seen before but it just got so uh, time-consuming you know that I had to just start going with movies I've already seen <laughs> but I'm excited that I'm done and I'm proud of myself for finishing it and I'm almost done with my Christmas blanket which is another thing that I'm proud about so yeah 
come back in a few weeks maybe and see me line it and then movie stitch will be officially done <laughs> i don't know what we're going to do next year for crochet alongs but i'm going to be busy with a newborn for some of the year so um i don't know what i'm going to be able to do but this was fun and i'm glad that i participated <laughs> oh i want to say my favorite squares my number one favorite square is my mary poppins one it's based off of Bert's um, Jolly Holiday outfit, and absolutely love that movie, and I love Dick Van Dyke, and uh, it's based off him. That's my favorite one, and my next favorite one is the Nanny McPhee, just because I like the colors, <laughs> but those are my favorite squares. I love them all, though. Some of them are a little goofy looking, because this is supposed to be a lance, but it doesn't really look like one, but I know what it is, <laughs> so that's all that matters, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed following it along, and are happy that it's over because I know I am <laughs> but yeah so I'll see you guys in another video coming up soon and I'll also see you later today in vlogmas day 20 so yeah bye guys <laughs>